Moving the probe up and down at the lateral aspect of the lower part of the upper arm allows identification of the radial nerve. It has a hyperechoic appearance with a honeycomb pattern. Proximally, it lies adjacent to the humerus, which is the homogeneously dark structure with a bright white line in the left lower part of the image. As the probe is moved distally towards the anticubital fossa, the nerve separates from the humerus and moves into the brachioradialis muscle. The nerve can be blocked at any level here, but the injection is perhaps most comfortable where the nerve is not too close to the periosteum of the humerus. The nerve is placed in the middle of the image and small probe angle adjustments are made to improve the image quality. Punctricite analgesia is carefully administered. In this clip, the needle appears from the left side. Small adjustments of probe or needle angle may be needed to allow needle tip visualization. The aim is to place the needle in the fascial plane, which is the white line lateral to the nerve. A small test injection of a quarter of a mil is made to assess the spread of the local anaesthetic. As the local anaesthetic generates a space, the needle tip can be moved into it. It may be seen that the tip visibility improves within this watery interface. Further injections of 1 to 2 mils of local anaesthetic are made, moving the needle carefully with the aim of surrounding the nerve with local anaesthetic. Moving the probe along the long axis of the radial nerve allows assessment of spread.